first specify the login URL so I copied this statement and paste it here and now change the variable name into login URL login URL and change the PHP script name into login.php now go to the doing background method here we have to check another condition so else if else if method dot equals login in this case we have to pass the email and password to server and get a response from server if the response is positive we have to display another activity we have to display home activity otherwise we have to display an alert dialog so I copy this statement paste it here and change the variable into login URL login URL here add some try catch block now we have to establish HTTP URL connection we have to set the parameters for HTTP URL connection we need output stream we need buffer the writer okay I copy statement up to here and put it here of course here we we have to add the need that catch close okay now we have to get the data here two data email and password so email and password now get the data email params of one now password params of two now we have to encode this data so I copied this string variable string data and paste it here now change this one into email and here the data is email and change second variable identifier into password and here the data is password password uh, there is no need of this statement so I remove this statement okay now we have to write that information so buffer the writer dot write we have to flush buffer the writer we have to close the buffer the writer and we can close the output stream so I copy these statements and paste it here now we have to get the response from server the response is in the form of a JSON and we have to decode that JSON we have to get the code and message from server so the code segments are similar we already done it on the registration segment so now I am going to copy the copy that statement so I copy the statements up to the return statement okay and paste it here there is no change here here only we have to add the new that catch close because here we sleep the background thread for some milliseconds so here you have to add the new that catch close so add the new that catch close okay and from here we return the string builder in the form of a normal string okay now go to the on post execute method here we have to check some condition else if code dot equals login true in that case we have to display the success activity so in this case we have to start the home activity so we have to declare some intent variable so intent intent equal to new intent we have to specify the activity now we have to specify the target activity here the target activity is home activity so home activity dot class now we have to attach message from server to the intent so intent dot 
put extra with identifier message and pass message from server finally we can start the activity so activity dot start activity and pass the intent this will start the home activity so now open activity home dot xml so in the in that layout there is only one text view is present with identifier welcome txt so now I am going to display the message from server using this text view so now open home activity dot java file so here we have to declare some text view variable so text view now initialize that variable so text view find it uh, typecast that one into text view now find it r dot id dot welcome txt now get message from the intent so string message so get intent dot get string extra with identifier message now set the message on the text view so text view dot set to text and pass the message okay so close this one and close the layout file so if the login is success we display another activity and display message from server otherwise that means login failed we have to display an alert dialog so else if code dot equals login false In that case, we have to display an alert dialog. So I simply call the method called the show dialog. Now this is the title for the alert dialog. So here the title is login error and pass message and code. Now go to the show dialog method. So here also we have to check some condition. So else if else if code dot equals login false in that case if the login failed first thing we have to reset the email and password field available on the login form so we have to access the edit email and password edit text inside the background task dot java so here we have to create some variables for edit text email and password okay now we have to initialize these variables so first one is email and you can use the activity activity dot find the view by id r dot id dot email and you have to typecast this one into edit text now I copy this statement now the second variable is password and here the ID is password so first we have to reset email and password so email dot set to text make it empty now set password password dot set to text make it empty and finally so first thing we have to start the alert dialog we have to start the alert dialog so builder dot set message and set the message for the builder now set the positive button for builder set positive button ok and now specify the click listener so 
so we have to remove these statements we have to remove this statement and put it here okay so whenever user click the ok button on the alert dialog it will reset the email field and password field and finally we have to close the dialog so dialog dot dismiss so now we have to display the alert dialog so I just cut these statements from here and put it here now we can test the application okay now we can run the application so run it select a virtual device okay now the application available on this virtual device so first here I'm going to add a new user so open up the registration form now add a new user Thomas and specify an email address Thomas at abc.com now specify some password password 123 now confirm that password password 123 now click register ok now it shows registration success now open the database here is the table and browse the table ok now a user is added to the database with the name Thomas email and password so now I am trying to log in with this information so now I try to log in without filling email or password so now it shows an alert dialog you have to check your inputs okay now I enter the email Thomas at abc.com now I enter some wrong password and try to log in okay it shows that login failed and try again this is the response from server so when you click the OK button it will reset email and password field now enter the correct data so Thomas at abc.com now enter the correct password password123 and try to login yeah here the app is crashes try to login again okay now it's it display the success page login success and display the welcome message and here it will display the username so now we finish the login section of the application I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode